Okay, this is for everybody out there who watches the Sergeant Willie P. Watch the whole videos. Now, Sergeant, these people are a hell of a lot smarter than you will ever give them credit for. A lot of these people are very courageous. And Sergeant, yes, there's a large percentage of fucked up black women. A large percentage. 70%, 60%, 50%, whatever. What I always say and what I will always say is this. We must uplift people. So I understand maybe your role is to break people down. Then if your role is to break them down, then my role is to put them back together. So in saying what I just said, Sergeant, I'm going to say this and I'm going to try to make it quick. There's no theatrical music. There's no battle music in the background. It's just me and you having a conversation about women. Young man, in my opinion, um, I have seen good and bad women of all different shapes, sizes, colors. Um, and when it comes to black women, yes, a lot of black women have a diva complex. A lot of black women think that the world centers around what they believe in. And yeah, it hurts people to hear negative things coming from the Sergeant Willie Pete. What's the perception of negative? Anything not glorifying. You don't glorify these motherfuckers. You don't give them a break. You don't give them a shot. You don't give them a chance. You shut their asses down. You shut them down in a manner to where they think. And when they think, they don't think anything of positive comes from anything you say. I've read the comments on your page, and I think some of them are pretty fucked up. And when, like I said, I said, when you say things, Willie Pete, the small-minded people automatically assume that you're talking about every woman. So, like I asked you on that last video, just do one video saying nice things. And at the very end of the video, this is for the women who don't do nice things. This is for the women who, who don't have people say nice things for them, a nice thing about them, a nice things to them. This is for those young girls who call each other bitch. Like it's, hey, bitch, how you doing? How you doing, bitch? No, that's not cool. Just like the young brothers who call each other niggas. See, white people have the assumption that when we say niggas, we're saying nigger. Hey, nigger, what's up? Nothing much, nigger. We don't do that. There's a generalization. Like you said, when you, you can say one. And people think you mean one million. You can say some, and they think you mean all. You said that. But you must understand even when you give the percentages people are only gonna want to hear what they want to hear and you got the power to say something positive so if all Willie Pete can say is something positive they can't say nothing bad about Willie Pete so when Willie Pete does say something negative they can't say nothing bad about Willie Pete but if you look at 70% of your videos say 80% of your videos people will take that shit out of context every fucking time because people can't make it to the end of a Willie Pete video why because people don't want to hear Willie Pete bashing women that's what you know people look at the picture of the white guy talking about he pop his collar and make bitches hollow where that statement come from you're enabling white men to pop their collar and black bitches hollow I don't know but one thing I do know sergeant is this you got the power to uplift people but you use your power to uh what's the word crush and destroy like I said if you break them down I'll try to build them back up but when I build them back up they're not gonna like you because they don't like you now but if you told them you know I'm talking about these girls under this age I'm talking about this girl and that girl because what I saw when I went back to the hood Willie Pete I don't put on nobody I, I don't wish that on anybody children raising children kids on kids I mean, the average age of the per people I saw walking around the street at 115 in the evening was like fucking 26. Most of them had strollers and pushing little babies around. Um, damn near every one of the brothers had fucking dreadlocks. I don't know where the fuck that came from. Um, I don't know. I don't know, Willie Pete.
But I do know one thing. Not all women are bad. Not all women are good. And not all women need feel the brunt of Sergeant Willie P. See, Sergeant, you know, I like your videos. I actually like you. I don't agree with you. And that's why, man, you have this, uh, I'm not going to call it chemistry. That's why we're having this little uh, uh, debate. Because you're right and I'm right. And when two people are right, they're going to both fight for their um, point. You've made your point. You constantly make your point. And in making your point, you're making their point too. Yeah, I'm hardhead. I'm ghetto. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck you. You don't like it? Fuck you. That's what you're giving them. You're empowering the ignorant to stay ignorant. Even though you're informing them how stupid they look. And they should be like, damn, do we really look like that? Do we really? Did, why is this man saying these things? Is there any truth to anything he's saying? Yeah. Because if there was not any truth to anything you're saying, you wouldn't be saying it. But then, in saying that, Sergeant, if there's not any truth in anything I'm saying, then maybe I shouldn't even be speaking. Maybe I shouldn't be telling young black women and, and young black men that they should be better. They are better. I hear too many people say they ain't shit. That's why I try to say they're better. I hear too many people talking bad about white people and Mexicans. That's why I try to prop them up too. It's not just about me. It's definitely not about you. It's about us. All of us. And no, I don't want no group of fucking women around me that ain't got a lick of sense. Between five girls there, five, five girls walking down the street, uh, average um, education, 10th grade. No, been there, done that. We need to teach them how to use the brain that's in their head. Teach them to walk with their head up high. Teach them to get off of their knees and get off of their back and stand up and be a woman. And you're right. These mothers who raised their kids with no father. That dirty motherfucker, he left us and he left. He left because that bitch had a big ass mouth. He left because she talked shit. He left because he couldn't deal with the black woman's bullshit. That's why he got that white girl. That's why he with the Asian. Yeah, the motherfuckers hate. They hate. Black women do a lot of motherfucking hating. Because they don't know no better. Like I said, throughout history, they've been watching their man get their ass whooped and not doing nothing. The man won't stand up, the woman will. And the woman has stood up for too goddamn long. And that's why ain't no love for no black man. That's why they want the hardcore thug nigga. That's why they want the motherfucker that's willing to die. Oh, you go to work every day. You got a job? Oh, man. Um, how much you make an hour? Hmm. You know, um, Larry makes uh, four G's a week. He he, right over there smoking weed. Larry can get you a job. You know, that attitude, that money, you got to have shit. So our people have been without so goddamn long. We fighting each other for what little we, that we can get. And we can't get shit if we fight each other. Black women, black men, anybody. There's a lack of respect. There's a lack of knowledge. There are no more elders in the hood. And when the old people disappear from a spot, the spot goes bad. So the African American community is now being run by people under 30. A large number. We only make up, what, 12, 14% of the population. Think about it. 14% of the population. And 45% of that or 65% of that is under 30. The rest of the OGs is in jail locked up. Old women are smoking crack and ain't got no time for their goddamn babies. And yes, Sergeant Willie P, it was my generation that fell in the hole that didn't come out. That spawned the fucked up kids they have today. So fuck it. I can't fix it all, Willie P, but one thing I can do is try to say something positive. So maybe somebody else can see something positive. Because we've been watching too much negative shit on YouTube, TV, and everything. So, Sergeant. If you're up for another battle, we can play some more. We can do this. I'd rather fight with you. But fighting against you is pretty goddamn fun, too. So, Sergeant Willie Pete, for the third time in 30 days, you've been tubed. And all I want you to do is one video for me. I do like the way you put that name, my name on. I'm enabling it. But I want you to teach these people. 
who Willie Pete is.